Yeah, like I said in that last video, I'll say it again, Luke chapter 21, verse 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations and with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. If that doesn't describe our world today, nothing does, okay? These last three supermoons of 2016 are there as a sign in the heavens. Couple that with Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. Okay, watch the NASA video I suggest on my homepage at CBR channel and listen very carefully to the signs that are represented in the three supermoons. Okay, they have Obama's numbers, eight weeks and four days to, to, to within 61 days. 38 days after the last supermoon is inauguration day. This is the time frame that we have to see fulfilled. Revelation 13, 5, the beast will be given power to continue for 42 months. Within that time, Daniel chapter 12, the rapture occurs because these last 42 months, 1260 days, three and a half years of the beast given power to continue, as it says in Revelation 13.5, is the same as written in Daniel chapter 12. At that time, the time of trouble will start on the earth like never seen before. Time of trouble and those that are found written in the Lamb's Book of Life, the Book of Life will be delivered up. The rapture, the gathering, the calling up, the snatching away, whatever you want to call it. Revelation chapter 6, verse 12, the sixth seal. This is when the rapture occurs, the gathering up event. As shown in the video, DVD, that I've posted a million times on this page and at Facebook on CBR channel after the tribulation. Now, I just want to say one quick thing. I am not a once saved, always saved person. So everything that is shown... Not everything shown in the after the tribulation DVD do I agree with entirely. The scriptures shown in the video as to the timing of the rapture, yes, spot on. I agree, totally. Okay, but I am not one saved, always saved, so I don't agree entirely with everything that comes out of Stephen Anderson's mouth. I'm at odds with quite a bit, actually, but that's another subject. So... Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Right? So the sun and moon are darkened at that time. So wouldn't it make sense that God puts the signs of the heavens? He does. The, the signs in the heavens are signs for seasons, days, and years, according to Genesis 1, verse 14. And here it's no different. Before the sun and moon can be darkened at the opening of the sixth seal, the moon will shine its brightest like the supermoons. This is just extending the grace period to people to see that there is great distress, that there are signs in the heavens, and that the end of time is near. People can repent. God is giving extended time. He's showing the works of his creation, nature, giving them as signs and seasons days and years for people to get their spiritual, physical houses in order, in order to escape the, the trouble, the wrath of God, the wrath of the Lamb, the trumpet and the vile judgments that are coming upon the earth. Okay, He's just working within those natural signs in the heavens, which is the natural cycle of these um, super moons or these full moons that are perigee moons as opposed to apogee moons. Have a look on the NASA video, it explains it quite nicely. And he's using these signs so the, the moon will shine at its brightest before it goes totally dark at the opening of the sixth seal. Okay, and until the fullness of those signs have come in, that is what I've come to realize is what is going on, especially when you see the number of Obama's name, 8461, clearly within these last three supermoons of 2016. So not until this time period is over, till these supermoons have done and dusted, just like the covenant made with many weeks is over today. And we are in those days of tribulation, now those days of great tribulation, I believe. And those days will be cut short, according to Scripture. It says, Scripture says that those days shall be cut short, otherwise no flesh shall be saved. So the final three and a half years, we, the believing church, the, the true church of God, the people that are watching, the people that are worthy, the people that are right with God will be taken up. 
and spared the fullness of time the th last three and a half years. We will not be here for the whole entire three and a half years, okay? But it's at a day and an hour known only to God, obviously, because the 1335th day passed and there was no rapture. The blessed day came, as written in Daniel chapter 12, 12, and there was no rapture. It was just a dispensation of time. Clearly, not just the fact that Obama stood in the Church of the Nativity and he received the Nobel Peace Prize, and we count 1260 days plus 1335 days, we arrive at the 16th of November. It was, if you break down like I've done, shown on this channel, it was six years, six months, six days, plus 216 days. That is the number of his name is all the way through this. In everything that has been done by Obama and Pope Francis, Revelation 13, 18 was not joking, friends. Wisdom and understanding comes from counting the number of the beast. Understanding the times and the seasons and the days and the years that we are living in right now comes from counting the number of his name. Guarantee you this, ch this channel is proof positive that that works. Evidence in your face, in my face. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. It stands as testament to truth. Okay, so there we go. So getting into a very critical, we're always in a critical time, but from the end of the last supermoon, 14th of December, marking eight weeks and four days of supermoons within a 61-day period. Obama was born on the 8th of the 4th, 61. We, between that time and Inauguration Day, always be looking up for your redemption draws nigh. Thanks for listening.